Just wanted to walk you through the interior a little bit. Here's the original 69 high-back seats. Uh, the upholstery, well, vinyl was all redone. It's got new seat cushions and all new, new hardware up underneath. Um, notice the rear door catch has been replated. And I've got some stainless steel fasteners on the doors. And here you have the door pull from, this is like from a TR4. I don't like the padded ones that go on top. They're kind of flimsy and may fall off and come loose, so I just prefer these. There's two holes actually underneath, so you don't have to drill any holes. Just have to put some blind nuts, is what I'll call it, to pull on there. Uh, new door panels. Um, the, the little door switch, that works for the light back here, off on. Um, here we have uh, early style seat belts. I really like these because they're just kind of weird. They have a weird spring retention mechanism right here. Uh, this harness, shoulder harness comes loose. Uh, I have it zip tied on here just to hold it in place so I don't have to fish for it. It has the uh, Triumph book badge emblem on the seat belt. I like these. They're not the nicest looking or restored, but I just, you can't find these anymore. That's why I went with these seat belts. Uh, yeah, they're a little aged, but I just like them because they're unique. And I made sure I took it down, not hit the door. The carpet here is the wool carpet. Um, more expensive, but it's uh, the correct height. Um, here, here you'll notice the African rosewood dash. I really like this dash. I have the original. Uh, I kept it for a couple years, but it really detracted from the car. So I got the rosewood dash. Um, now I've got the, the black screws are earlier TR6. That's the original door box, glove box uh, lock. It's chrome. Don't know why that was chrome and the screws are black. Um, here we've got the original small, hard to get rocker switch for the emergency lights. Um, it's hard to find these that aren't busted. I've polished a lot of the little clear hooker switches and put new, new paint on them to give them a nice look. Windshield wiper switch that works, the washer pump switch works, but like I said in an earlier video, there's not a lot of pressure on the washer to actually spray up on the windshield. Um, this should be close to original mileage on the car, 134,000. I have no reason to believe it's not. And then we zoom back. This is the original TR6 steering wheel with the uh, book bag steering wheel. I mean, horn button. Let's see, a little attention to detail. You've got the console switch, which all of the cars, later cars, had that switch up underneath the uh, dash over here. There's the overdrive switch, which in a video I showed that working. Uh, like I said, Prestige Auto Wood. I had him make this little trim piece here just to cover up the unsightly bolts that connect this brace to the dash. You really need this brace. It tightens up the whole car. So that's, that's the interior of the dash, which I still like. If you're driving this car, you'll just love the dash. It's just really nice to look at. Glove box, there's the, I forget what you call that, but the, um, whatever, gives you tire specs and stuff. Um, new cubby liner, of course. Oh, let's see here. And top frame was all powder coated, stripped and powder, sandblasted and powder coated. Uh, so it, it's really nice in here. Um, real finished out real well. 